If you look at how many hours a student sleeps overall during their college career, it's consistently the students that get that between 8 and 9.25 hours a night that are getting the GPA in the 3 and higher range. And when they start to drop below 7 and 6, that's when you start to see incremental decreases in GPA. Sleep is probably the most important behavior that they can control on their own because it has an enormous effect on their ability to learn, their ability to, to um, form memories. All-nighters are the equivalent of having about two standard drinks, i.e. two beers or two shots prior to taking the exam. They don't think so much about an all-nighter being a, uh, a bad outcome. You know, they, they think an all-nighter is going to help them to study more and uh, perform better on a test when it, in, in fact it's the opposite. So what we've seen in the last couple decades is as sleep quality and quantity decreases our obesity epidemic increases and we see um, it affecting everything from Alzheimer's as, uh, as well as um, cancer incidents, uh, type 2 diabetes, strokes, heart attacks. And if you're looking at a blue light emitting screen, whether it's your you know, phone or TV, um, it actually tells your brain that it's not nighttime, so you don't make that melatonin. So one of the things they can do is at nighttime, they can either install uh, one of the apps that decreases the blue light. There's Flux, there's many different apps, or they can read something made out of a tree. And they can be aware of the cold uh, that to lower the temperature in the bedroom and to make sure the bedroom is dark. If they are pretty cognizant about their sleep needs and they know that I need to get into bed at by 11 or 11.30 to be up for an 8.30 class, and they do so on the weekdays, but then Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, or just Friday and Saturday night, they're out until midnight, one or two, and then they expect on Sunday night to be able to fall back asleep, that can be very difficult because of that social jet lag, which has habituated their circadian rhythm to being asleep a little bit later. I, I have discussion with students that alcohol, although it makes you sleepy, you know, a la the nightcap, the problem with alcohol is that it doesn't allow you to have really good sleep quality. It, it interrupts the, the deeper sleep and the REM sleep so that they may get their eight hours, but it's not very good quality. So, so sleep deprivation makes any coping skills that you have that much more challenging to utilize. And I think sleep is, is um, one of the things that, as parents, we should probably have a discussion with our, our students before they head off to university. That is not just the alcohol discussion or making sure you go and eat in the, in the cafeteria regularly or go to the gym, but um, being really mindful about your sleep.